please God, give me your words. Hello, this is a teaching DVD about a grave sin, the eating of blood. In Acts 15, verse 20, the apostles and elders in Jerusalem were asked what must the Christians do once they were saved. The Holy Spirit gave four commands. Do not be a fornicator. Do not eat meat of animals that are strangled. Do not eat meat of animals sacrificed to idols. And do not eat blood. Now that fourth one, blood, is being transgressed by virtually everyone in the world, including the Christians. Now, you don't want to be a fornicator. That's great. And I'm glad you, you're not. You probably aren't who are listening to this. But eating blood is classed in the same bracket as being a fornicator. That's serious. Is this prohibition has existed ever since man was allowed to eat meat, which came in with Noah. Before Noah, we were humans were only allowed to eat vegetables. But after, but when after the flood, God allowed man to eat animals, but he pro, he prohibited the eating of blood because he said the life of the animal is in the blood. So this has been around almost since the beginning and it hasn't ended. So people, you know this is serious. I should imagine you listening to this will be eating blood. You, you, will, you will still be having beef and lamb and pork and game. And it's a serious sin and I'm glad to be able to point it out to you because it's not taught. You know, it's, it's in the same paragraph as being a fornicator and you know how serious that is. So, everyone, repent. We know how sick everyone is. There were so many illnesses around. It may well be because people are, you know, eating blood, which is not intended. It's not God's will. So as I say, what can't you eat? You can't eat beef, you can't eat lamb, you can't have pork, you can't have game. That's things like pheasant and duck. But you can have white meat and fish. You can have chicken and turkey. If you want to eat beef or lamb, you've got to go to a kosher shop to buy it. Synagogue shop, Jewish. There aren't any kosher restaurants in Bristol, but there is a kosher shop which is in the Bristol Synagogue in Park Row, Clifton. It's open on every sun the first Sunday of every month between 10.15 and 11.45. The telephone number is 0117-963-6171. It's run by a man called Leonard Glynn. The mobile is 07971 249 703. So if you want to continue eating beef or lamb, obviously you can't get pork at the, kosher, at the Jewish kosher place, you've got to buy kosher if you want to continue eating it. Otherwise you've got to abstain in restaurants and in your homes. You can't have halal meat by the way, because although that removes some of the meat, uh, some of the blood, it doesn't remove all of it. Uh, a um, halal butcher, a Muslim butcher told me that, so that's definitely true. So, you know, it's good news that you've been told this. And how criminal, really, how sinful of, of the rest of the church not to be pointing this out. I haven't heard this from a single pastor. I should think every pastor in Bristol eats blood, unless they're vegetarian, which is great. So, you know, this is a, this is a, a message for you, really important. And I, I want to stress again, it's in the same bracket as being a fornicator. That's serious. So repent, everyone. Good news, now you've got the opportunity, now you've been told. Amen. Thank you.